Films here and welcome to my RuneScape video editing guide. <coughs> first off, when you first start off with video make video making, there's one editor you've you can um, actually choose from and it's free. And it and that editor is Windows Movie Maker. It is it is already installed on your computer. Just search it in the search bar of your computer. It is free, but it's very limited. It's although it is the best editor if you're learning to edit. If you're just starting out, this is really the best editor you can choose. And it is only the, the only free editor that is actually in, you know usable. Um. So if you want to start out, you just click on import video this button that little button here and then you select a video you want to use oh wait a second I'm gonna That's a little video select now it's importing the video here and here's your timeline okay um you have animations these are actually you know if you got two videos and you want to paste them together with a little animation this is where you can do it just drag it between them but as I don't have two clips now you can I can do that here you have some effects and a downside of you know of um Windows Live Movie Maker is actually that you can't really change anything on this on this um this effect. You can use that effect on this on the movie and that's about it. You can't really do that much with it. Um then we get to the next step project. I ha highly reco highly recommend using 16 by 9 because then it's gonna give less bars. And the other tabs aren't really that important. Here you can speed up your video if your video is a little bit too slow. And here you can choose a fade if you have if you want to you know if you want your video audio to start slowly and end slowly or end slowly then that's a good way to do that and then if you're ready you click on uh, film publish video or actually no you click on Save movie, and then you go to, oh, and then you select um a new um some new fuck I don't know the word in English um thingy settings that's the word I I was searching. And you choose this resolution for the first thingy. Then you do this 720 in here and 1280 in this one. And that's regular HD. And then for the audio, I recommend. Wait a second. I recommend using this one or this one oh. don't fuck don't do that
I'm sorry, it was a little. It's a long time ago I've used this one. I've used an um. It's ver a very long time ago I, I've used um Windows Live Movie Maker. So, you know. Um. Bit, su bit speed. This is actually a. V determines the quality. Determines a very big part of the quality. The maximum I would use is actually 20,000. That's the maximum I would use. I w We're gonna choose 10,000 for this one. As I found. Because that actually makes the video file long. Uh, much bigger than for the FPS I choose it's the very best you choose 30 as YouTube doesn't go higher than 30 and then, then you click on save if you're, if you're done with all of this you can't you can't really make that good uh, full HD videos of RuneScape why because YouTube messes up the quality YouTube messes up the quality of full HD videos and yeah and no that wasn't going okay and you will see your setting is right here and then you choose a name for it and then you click on save and then it will publish the video and when it's done you can you will find the file at your computer but we're not gonna do it right now that's for the free editor and then you want to move on to a, a better editor you will once in your life you will come on that situation where you you know you feel like you're getting limited by Windows Live Movie Maker. Windows Live Movie Maker doesn't have that much po possibilities, you know. So it will begin to annoy you, and then you have to move on to another editor. Ed the editor I've chosen is Core Video, Stu Video Studio Pro X4. It is not free, but y you will never find a good editor for free. So you will have to pay or crack it like I did, but you know it's illegal. It's illegal, and I don't want to talk about that that much. Um, you can get better results with Sony Vegas, but Sony Vegas is very expensive and very complicated. So unless you're making RuneScape movies, you know RSMVs, I don't recommend paying that much money for a video editor as Coral Video Studio Pro X4 will pretty much get the job done for you um, you can actually make different tabs to import your videos in it in, in Coral Studio Video Pro, Video Pro so this is my main tab where I mostly do my RuneScape videos and intros then I have my you know not, and then I, then I have the tab for another series so this is actually very good if you want to organize it your video and if you want to import a video you click on this thing import media file then you can actually select a file in your computer um do 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 I got to find my file and I have found my file now you will see the thing you import imported will be um, imported to the tab where you're currently at. This is my main tab. I was at my main tab, so the video will be at my main tab. And to get this in your project, because it's not really in your project, you just drag them onto the timeline. Then it will be 
and your project. <laughs> Um, then you drag, you just drag the video files on the right place, and then you will see it's, that the video file is placed behind the video, behind your intro. Yeah, now, it stops very sudden, so you wanna go to the go to this tab go to this tab and select all in here because then at standard it will be on my favorites then you have these things in here now how does this work what you've got to do with this is this actually makes a little animation after a video so videos actually are faded together now let's use one you just drag them on the edge of the two files like I'm doing now and then you lose it and then it will make a little animation so the videos aren't just like quit and the other video after it it will make a little animation like this one then this is the text tab to make a text overlay you double click on the screen in here and you just begin typing you if you click on this you can change the text you can change these lines in here as you see now they're black I'm gonna make them white now and then you have a white line in your text you can also choose a shadow and change the color of the shadow change change the kind of shadow so this is this kind of shadow this kind of shadow this kind of shadow Um, you can make, you know, change where it is, like this, you can move it around, you can basically do everything you can imagine, you can change the kind of text. looks a little bit better make it you know fat um, thingy I don't know what the word is in English and uh, underline it whatever whatever you wanna do with it you can show some grid lines this will you know this helps when you wanna get them at a certain point in the video like you know, this will help a lot if you have big taxes and you want you know you want to have a certain place in the screen that that will help a lot. Um, then you can um, choose some standard effect effect thingies like this. But you can also create one your of your own. Oh yeah, and this is the button I'm using right now, like this zoom button this action makes your timeline bigger or smaller if it's smaller you have to scroll but you will see a lot more detailed image you know and with this it gets bigger so you can also use your own you can actually use the same effects you can use in the video you can use on your text I will get to the effects in a minute 
and here are all your effects and these actually are a lot of effects you know it doesn't seem that much but you can change the effect if you wanna choose an effect you just drag the effect onto the text and then you will see the, the effect has is doing its job you can change effects by clicking on attribute and customize filter then you can actually do a lot of stuff with it like now create another pin and then you can begin changing the thing you can't really get that that de detailed of guide why because editing is a lot about creativity so it's a little bit discovering for you and if you're then done you click OK these things are different with every effect so in this other you can also drag a file drag a video in a video like this overlay change the shape of it make it bigger sorry was me a little bit carried away um then here I don't really know what this tab is to be honest so we're go not gonna talk about that but I don't think you will need this tab really need this tab for runescape video making as I've been touching before these are your effects it has a lot of effects and to use them you just you know drag them onto the file just click options and then customize filter and then you're going to if you want to play it in the video in the effects editor itself you can play this play button then you're gonna see in this screen what the video will look like and in this screen you will see what it was before you added the effect then if you're done with all these effects you click on share if you've done something wrong you can click this button and then it deletes the thing you've done into a certain point instead of doing having to do it manually for creating files I recommend the se setup I'm using right now is a custom setting and it is WMV click on options for a profile you choose this one not this one I found this profile to be the best oh wait we well, want to choose 16 by 9 here you can choose a name
and then again it's gonna begin creating also what you want to keep enabled is this one widescreen 16 by 9 to make sure you don't have any black bars you can also make 5.1 surround sound with this one but YouTube doesn't support it so why should you use it and so that will be pretty much it you can record you can make full HD image with this one the best full HD settings I have found to be AVC HD and then the upper option and then you know just use the name and stuff I found that to be the best one personally you can create 3D with this one so that's also a thing you can do creating do is by doing this and that will pretty much be it um, the reason why I'm not using full HD is because YouTube messes up quality of full HD and you know um, people with a low resolution screen were having trouble seeing my videos in full HD so you know I've moved on to regular HD and that will pre pretty much be my guide so thank you for watching